So, first of all, a warm welcome to KubeCon India. I'm really proud that it's happening for the first time. Uh, this particular project, Lightning Talk, is going to be around Wasm Edge and how you can use Wasm to empower LLMs and AI agents. Uh, I'm Shivai, I'm part of the maintainer team for Wasm Edge project. So, let's get started. Now, uh, first of all, what is Wasm Edge? So, Wasm Edge is a WebAssembly runtime that allows you to run your Wasm workloads, whether it's in the cloud, on Kubernetes, inside of Docker, or even on the edge. And it doesn't care on what type of edge environment that you run it on, because WebAssembly as a technology uh, is a universal runtime. Now, why WebAssembly? for AI, right? We'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. But you see that uh, over the, the last few years, the adoption of WebAssembly as a technology has really grown several folds. So today, Wasmet's project has more than 6,000 GitHub stars. It is actively being used by a lot of different other projects within the CNCF, uh, CNCF ecosystem as well. And the idea is that you can actually use WebAssembly for being able to run and deploy AI models uh, or AI agents directly on your own infra without having to worry too much on what type of environment you're actually running it on. Or you can also bundle it with your own applications and serve them wherever you want. Uh, so, of course, the question arises that when we talk about AI workloads, why not Python? Because Python can be very uh, difficult to use, especially because of the large container sizes and the slow uh, cold start times that you have to deal with when you are using frameworks like PyTorch. And that basically hinders the performance, especially if you're trying to run these workloads on edge environments, which is a growing field as we're seeing a lot of use cases for AI on edge devices. So that's where we talk about Rust, because Rust is memory safe and it has a lot of concurrency. And uh, as, compared to web, as compared to Python, WebAssembly is much more faster. It ships with zero Python dependency, and you can basically write that logic once and ship it anywhere that you want. And it's highly portable at the same time. And uh, in fact, the Wasm sandbox is also highly secure as compared to any other Python runtime that you might primarily deal with. And also, of course, we know that Wasm is container-ready, so you can ship your applications instead of uh, Docker, instead of Kubernetes, instead of Podman, or any other runtime that supports uh, container shims powered by Wasm. And we'll not talk specifically about Llama Edge. So Llama Edge has been built on top of Wasm Edge. So it's a customized runtime that allows you to run WebAssembly, uh, WebAssembly workloads, and specifically AI-powered workloads on the edge or locally as well. Uh, it provides you an OpenAI compatible server, so you no need to now use OpenAI to, uh, you know, and manage multiples uh, of thousands of dollars of requests and deal with the privacy concerns that you typically have when you're using any of these uh, cloud-hosted models. You can run all of that locally, and if, you're, if your infrastructure was supporting OpenAI APIs, you can very easily just replace it with the help of Llama Edge, and you can use Rust or JavaScript to actually extend these components, and the, as I mentioned, that the developer experience will match very similar to how you will have with OpenAI, but without the concern of running it in the cloud. All of this will run and execute directly inside of your system hardware. And of course, this is based on the Wasmets project from Linux Foundation, so you can check it out on github.com slash lamads, comma, comma lamads. Uh, so some of the major features, right? So we spoke about the containers. Now, container runtimes for Python and shipping it with PyTorch can be easily hundreds and thousands of megabytes in size. So these containers, when you're running them instead of Llama Edge or any other LLM model, for example, Llama 3 or Mistral, it supports all of the open source machine learning models and LLMs as well. So it has less than 50 megabytes in size. As I mentioned, no Python dependencies. So it's super quick. You can deploy it on different types of GPUs without having to worry about what runtime you're running it on. And of course, you can also run it on Edge, right? So x64, x86 architecture, you can run it anywhere. Uh, and it provides you a uh, variety of uh, AI models that you can use, open source models. And it's highly uh, embeddable as well. And you can run it on cloud native and many other such kind of cloud native distributions as well. And of course, there are a lot of different agentic AI use cases as well. So of course, we are now moving not just from LLMs, but also creating AI agents. So here are some of the examples, uh, like uh, agentic video translation, where you basically record the video and the AI agent 
understands what's actually happening in the video and it gives certain suggestions. So there are some other use cases um, which uh, you can explore in these slides which will, will also be available for you. Uh, lastly, in the end, feel free to contribute. It's completely open source, it's part of the CNCF and we are having a Wasmets booth today at the project showcase. So feel free to drop by table number three. I'll be there from the Wasmets community. Uh, so if you want to have more uh, interesting discussions around AI, around uh, agentic AI and how you can leverage uh, WebAssembly for running these workloads in production, uh, I have a lot of great production use case stories to also share with all of you. So thank you so much. Um, I'll be looking forward to meeting all of you at the booth.